Playing snooker with unwanted side can have a large negative effect on your game, so I'm going to show you five potential solutions to this problem. This is Break From Life. Welcome back, and if this is your first time watching one of our videos, then it's fantastic to have you here. Here's how playing with unwanted side affects a shot, and why it makes it so much more difficult. If I want to pop this red, and I'm striking the cue ball in this central band, then all I've got to do is work out which direction to play the white in, to get it to here, in order to pop the red. But for whatever reason, if we say I've got to hit cue ball in this red band on the left hand side then we're already making the shot a lot more difficult. To start off with the cue ball is going to be thrown out in this direction it's not going to run straight towards the red it's going to go that way and nextly the more I go to the left the more it's going to be thrown out to the right hand side and not only that the spin on it is going to make it arc so not only do I have to find the correct place to play the cue ball to, I have to allow for the arc to get it to that place. And the more power I play the shot with, the longer it's going to make the arc. So I've got to judge how much power I play the shot with and what that will do. Now obviously you want to strike the cue ball in the centre but it's not that simple and there's a reason why players find it difficult to play a shot without side. If I queue up to play this shot absolutely dead straight and strike the cue ball in the centre where I position this dot, then I have to pop the red. However, if my cue is coming across the ball at an angle like this, then striking in the centre will only mean I miss the shot. And in fact, the only way I can pot it is to play it with quite a bit of side like this. And this is why people use side because they're queuing across the ball. So here's my five possible solutions that may stop you missing a pot because of unwanted side. Solution one isn't a great solution, but it may be a simple quick fix for now. If you're playing a shot consistently wrong with the same amount of side, then effectively don't change this. You may start to struggle when you're playing faster or slower shots or when you change table but as long as you know exactly where you need to get the cue ball and you manage to get it there you'll keep potting the ball whatever spin it has on it even if this isn't perfect and what you want. Solution 2 is to walk into the shot on a straight line and not come in at it at an angle like this. It's likely to make you cue across the ball at a slightly different angle every time. And as I was saying in the previous step, if you're doing the same thing wrong every time and it's consistent, it's a lot easier to deal with and play with than if what you're doing is different and inconsistent. And by walking into the shot in the same way every single time, you are at least making sure that you are going to be consistent. Just be aware in the following three steps there are things that could harm your game if you implement them incorrectly. So be very careful and remember if something doesn't work straight away it's usually not going to work at all. Solution 3. The exact point on the ground you place your foot. This will really help you cue straight and not across the ball. This is the line of the shot as it runs along the floor and whichever side of the body you hold the cue in should be roughly on top of this line as you play the shot. When you're putting your foot in this position you're setting yourself on the line of the shot. The right place to put your foot on the line is different for each individual player but ultimately the more accurately I position my foot here the more accurately I should be able to play the shot. For me this is the optimum position for my foot I know because I've tested it but people are all different shapes and sizes and have varying techniques. So just keep trying until you find the right place. You'll know because you'll start to play better and pop more accurately. And also you may find you can cue the ball better if you're standing in exactly the right position. Just remember, and this is important, exactly how you stand that allows you to play at your best because this will help you play a lot more consistently. Solution four, the center of the cue ball isn't where you think it is and it could be easy to unknowingly cue across the ball or play it with side and not understand why the shot hasn't gone the way you think it was going to. And this is all because 
when you get down to play a shot like this, it's very difficult to see if you're striking the cue ball exactly in the centre or not. What can you do about this? Well, you can look from back here, where it's a little bit more easy to see where the centre of the cue ball is than when you're right up close to it on the shot. And what this will allow you to do is work out where you think the centre of the cue ball is when you're stood up away from the shot and see if that's the same place when you're close up to it. This only gives you a rough guide, but it does give you some idea of if you're doing it right or not. If I have any doubts about whether or not I'm striking the cue ball in the centre, then I try to use this thing for the end of my cue. It's just a piece of cardboard that's the exact width of the ball. So if the left edge is lined up to the left side of the ball and the right edge to the right side of the ball, you know your cue is going to be going exactly in the centre. You can't cue across the ball because otherwise you won't pot it and you know exactly where the centre of the cue ball is. So if you want to take away any doubts you have about striking the cue ball in the centre, then I show you how to make this thing. In our video, hit the centre of the cue ball. It's in the card right now and on the Break From Life channel page along with a load of other videos that will help you dominate at the game and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. Solution 5. Test that you're cueing perfectly straight by moving your cue back and forth along the bulk line like this. And if you find that your cue starts to go one way or the other, then you might find that your arm at the back here is either leaning over this way or this way a little bit too much. And if it's leaning this way, it may be coming in around at this angle, or if it's over this way, it may be going away at that angle. Also, you may find that you're not quite standing on with your foot like we showed in solution three on the line of the shot. Remember, players who are focusing on playing the game tend to do better than players who are worried about their technique. In this video, we've shown how important the stance is, so if you want to know how to stand in snooker, then try our video, How to Stand in Snooker. Or if you want to know how I was lining the shot up in Solution 1, then try our video, Snooker Aiming System. And remember, don't just watch, play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel, and visit the website. See you later.